Hey East Texas, definitely was a warm day out today. If you stepped outside, you for sure felt it. We broke some records across East Texas today, but right now we're finally cooling off a little bit. Some of us saw some showers today, maybe heard a rumble of thunder, especially in parts of deeper East Texas. But right now, most of us are dry, maybe just a couple of clouds thickening up and floating through the area, maybe a shower or two in deeper East Texas as well. But right now, mainly dry. It'll be a different story tomorrow however. As for breaking those records and making it to another triple digit day, you can see we added our 36th day in Tyler, 29th in Longview, and our 40th in Lufkin. So definitely more heat that we've been dealing with. Now remember, these aren't triple digit consecutive days, but just how many we've seen this year. We're well above that average amount, but once again, not yet close to that 2011 record. So for sure not our hottest summer yet, but still definitely a very warm summer. Tonight, though, if you wanted to break from the heat, it's going to be warm still with a few clouds low of about 81 across the region. We'll have those clouds floating through the sky throughout the night and winds coming out of the southwest at about seven miles per hour. Still warm, so it might feel a little bit like a blow dryer. Tomorrow afternoon, though, our temperatures, the record is 105. Here in Tyler, not going to break that. Jacksonville, Carthage getting close. Nacogdoches and Lovekin getting well above it. So deeper parts of East Texas will probably see warmer te temperatures, but you can see up north where they're gonna get, going to get our cold front first, they'll be a little bit cooler. 96 in Sulphur Springs, 97 in Mount Pleasant. The wind will be shifting north. It'll still be hot throughout the day, but we're all going to be well above that average high. This could be the last triple digit day for some of us that we see for quite a while. Because of that, though, we still have some heat warnings in place. Excessive heat warning for all of our counties here in pink, but a few of our counties have finally been dropped from that. You can see ours here in orange under that heat advisory starting at 10 a.m. tomorrow going till 8 p.m. Sunday. That excessive heat warning from 8 a.m. tomorrow till 8 p.m. Sunday as well. And I did want to show you this future skycast, the timing on our storms tomorrow. Now you can see around 4:45, 5 p.m. We finally get a few cells popping up, especially near Athens and Palestine. They move through the area. We get some good areas of downpour around 6 p.m. Later through the evening into early Monday night, deeper parts of East Texas near San Augustine and Center still holding on to a few showers. But as we move through the morning hours around early 10 a.m., you can see most of us dry temperatures starting in those low 80s once again tomorrow. Overall, the next seven days, though, we could pick up a decent amount of rainfall, especially um, along I-20 near Longview, maybe even getting about an inch and a quarter. But you can see all of East Texas hopefully picking up a little bit, even if it's just a dusting, maybe a tenth of an inch. We'll still take still take whatever we can get, especially because that drought has been creeping into our area. Now tomorrow we'll have those isolated storms and hot temperatures, but once again, maybe our last triple digit day for a while. You can see throughout the week, our temperatures finally cooling down, especially going Wednesday into Thursday. Look at those morning temperatures in the 60s. So it'll definitely definitely be nice if you wanted to get out and about, especially before we get into the weekend where it looks like we could be back into the hundreds.